Hey guys and gals, Pauly Jr. here and welcome to Overcrowd, a commute em up which is out on Steam Early Access. I'll put a link down below in the description to the Steam Store page and you can check it out there. It's nine, I think it's $16.99 uh, US money so it's made by two people. Square Play Games, that's two people. It's been in development for four years and they sent me a code to play and share with you guys here on the channel. And uh, hype it up a little bit. So that's what we're going to do. It's basically a um, rail, underground rail system management simulator type game where you got to build it up and you got to attract uh, customers or travelers, commuters, whatever, and keep them all happy and alive. Uh, I don't know, maybe they can die down there or something. That'd be fun. Um, anyway, let's jump in and play and I'll show you instead of tell you. And we're going to do the tutorial. I did the basic tutorial already, but we're going to jump into this one right here where we learn how to do some building, apparently. It's the Lubden Town Metro. Um, however, before we get started on that, I guess I should show you the other game modes. There is an actual campaign, and it's procedurally generated, so you can put in a seed and get something different every time. Uh, we have some kind of a daily challenge, maybe? And then a sandbox where you can... Uh, pick and choose all the various variables and so forth, but we're just going to do the tutorial For today, so let's go ahead and do it learn how to build a station from scratch and then run it for a time Okay, let's do it All right here. We are build an entrance to street uh, What's going on? All right, lots of pop-ups Welcome to day two of your training. Your task today is to build a functioning station from scratch. Each station starts with some concourse already in place. This is permanent and cannot be sold. That's that part right there. Remember to check your goals list so you know what to do next. And we can experiment with view and all that jazz. All right. So, yeah, this is our uh, concourse right here. This is the entrance. We need to run some flooring so people can get inside, right? And that's what it's telling us to do over here. So we got this panel down here that allows us to build flooring like so. That looks good. And we need a door so they can get in and out. So we're going to go to infrastructure. And then uh, you can rotate this with a right click. And there we go. Beautiful. Building a trade platform. Tracks must be built in a fixed location so they join up with other stations in the network. You can see where by looking for tunnels on the edge of the map and track blueprints. Right, use a sculpt floor to excavate some existing concourse down one level. Once you have excavated, you can see the track blueprint. Extend the floor with edit floor so that it surrounds the track blueprint. All right, well, I already know what to do, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So here's the, um, here's the track, right? This is, it goes like this way. Uh, of course, we don't, we don't know that until we start excavating down, and we can do that with, um, Sculpt floor mode, pretty sure. So we have to sculpt down, Oops. which is a right click, and then release. There we go. Sweet. Now we can see the track. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so every map that you play on is going to be a little different, and all this stuff is going to be randomized, including the concourse shape and where the track is and the entrances and all that jazz. So, yeah, you're going to get something different every time. Is that water? Well, that's cool. A little waterfall there. All right. Anyway, let's uh, let's see. We need to see the blueprint on the floor. Extend some concourse around it. Yeah, I think we have to put platform next. So that would be infrastructure. Oh, no. Before we do that, we need to make concourse. So we have to allow people to get down here and uh, do their commuting. So there we go. All that floor. And we got a ton of money here to play around with, so... Spend it while you got it, as they say. Infrastructure, and now we need the platform here. And we plop that down right on top of this track. Extend concourse for a two-carriage platform. Oh, okay. There we go. That worked. So now we need to build four power generators. Because we need power. Nothing's going to work without power down here, right? So let's go ahead and build a utility room via the blue build button, infrastructure. All right, utility room. So these are kind of uh, just floor types, I believe. Let's put the power over here. Yeah. Utility room there. And we'll put the door 
Uh, door on this side. Very good. Now we need the generators, which are under utilities. Yeah, right here. And how many do we need? Four. One, two. Oh, listen, they're cranking up. Three and four. Does not block the door, fortunately. And there we go. Four generators powering up our ray. Uh oh, what happened? Did we run out of gas? You actually do have to keep these fueled up. Um, but I don't think that's an issue right now. I think they just stopped making noise because it's kind of annoying with generators running in the background constantly. All right, let's see. Now we need to build a ticket machine so our guests, commuters, can actually purchase tickets. And let's put the tickets right here, just inside the doorway. And now they can come in, buy a ticket, and then they have to go through turnstiles, which we need to put in and use fences to stop the fair dodgers. Aha! Now we can spin this thing around with Q and E. So we can decide where to put the fences. I guess we can put, can we put it right here, maybe? I think so. Let's zoom in. And let's do the turnstiles. And let's turn them. Um, one here. And maybe one here. And then some fencing. And that is under infrastructure. You can block this off so nobody can squeeze through. Is that is that blocked off on this side? Hard to say. I think I think it is. We're gonna find out. Uh, yeah, it looks like it is because that we have achieved that um, that goal. Buy stairs from infrastructure. All right, let's do that. Buy some stairs. We got a staircase here. Uh, I'm gonna rotate it. We're gonna need an up and a down. One there, and then one right next to it. Uh, shoot, can I... Hold on, I'm going to sell that. Yeah, sell that. I want to put this back a little bit more. Actually, can we... Let's sculpt a little more floor in here, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There we go. And Oh, oh, oh dang it. I'm screwing this up. I'm screwing this up. Get it back up here. Put that floor back in. Yeah, there we go. What I wanted to do was move this back, but that would actually be concourse. That's actually concourse. Okay, so now let's go back to infrastructure and drop in our staircases. One there and one there. And we can use this area over here for some kind of utility room or tool room or something, right? All right, so we made our staircases. Click on the entrance and click open station. Are we really ready? No, we haven't even done this yet. We have to... We need to put up our signage on the turnstiles and also the stairs. So this is going to be platform one signage, which shows which way to go. And then this one over here, we want as an exit. And you can rotate these like so. So they're going to come in. Well, actually, they're going to come in through the door, buy a ticket, go through the turnstile, and then come down this stair here to the platform. And then this one will be the exit. Right? Does that make sense? Makes sense to me. Um, I won't know until we right click on the door and open for business. How do we open for business? Um, configure direction track signage. Did we not do that? Oh, this over here. Right, right, right. We need to tell the good commuters where to alight on the train. So we have to make sure we do this without getting people killed. I think that's right. Yeah, so the yellow grid over here is where they will not alight. So there we go. I think I think we're ready now. Are we ready now? Yes, we're ready. Okay, let's open up for business. Well done. You have built and opened your first station, but there's plenty to do. Check your goals list, and remember, you can pause the game at any time by pressing space. Don't forget to press tab after building the end build to end the build mode. Right, okay, so we can pause... And then you can do all kinds of stuff when it's paused. You can look around and you can check all the statuses on everything. You do have to have enough power for everything to run. You can um, modify the price of the tickets. That's pretty cool. And well, let's see what else we've got to do here. There's still there's still more to, to do. Call a train. Left click on the track. All right, let's turn everything on again. Okay, the train's on the way already. It's going to arrive in, well, it looks like about a minute game, uh, real time. Oh, people buying tickets is, here we go. 10 pounds a ticket, that's not too bad, right? Where are you going, dude? 
Trains this way. I put the arrows down. This guy thought it was a bargain. Yeah, so there's like a reputation. Oh, that's the wrong place. Right here. So this shows our reputation. See, they like the bargain. We're nice and cheap. Oh, wait. Somebody thought our prices were too high. And somebody thought they were uh, just right. It's really gloomy in your station. Your commuters get upset when it's dark. Build, build some lights. Check your reports to see what else is causing you to lose rep. Remember to do this if your reputation is falling. You can also assess lots of other handy things like power usage and commerce here. Yeah, so we have the rep, today's rep, power usage, and a summary here of what's happening. Um, and then all this stuff down here. I don't know. Everybody's moving. I, I gotta go. <laughs> all right, let's do lights. I'm gonna pause it because I don't want to screw this up. Where are my lights? Would that be under facilities? Yes. Oh, here we go. And this uh, looks like these lights light up very large area so let's let's make it not so gloomy shall we put one there one there and we get some lighting down here as well there we go crank them up and you can actually see them right here cool floating up above it's so much brighter in here now that'll keep people happy i think no bins are we gonna make a trash bin it's kind of crowded um and we have to hire somebody a commuter has become overcrowded in your station. Overcrowding makes your commuters angry or diseased and generates negative reputation. Staff can relieve overcrowding by ushering nearby commuters with a megaphone. Ushered commuters feel calm to briefly walk faster and can squeeze past each other in a crowd. Use a bond to unlock the megaphone build uh, and build one in a tool room. Then equip a member of staff and deploy them to an area of overcrowding. Okay, so we have an overcrowding issue. We need an employee, first of all. Let's go ahead and hire Josh Stewart. Um, wait, is he? Oh, he's already here. Yeah, he's already on shift. We don't have to hire anybody. But we do have to create the tool room and um, give him a megaphone. So that would be under facilities, I think. Where's my, um, no, under infrastructure. Tool room. Let's make a tool room somewhere. And excuse me, ma'am. This is our tool room. You got to get out of there. You're off limits. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> uh, no, really. What happened to her? Like, she's literally gone. <laughs> oh, well, she'll find her way out, I suppose. Let's go ahead and put in the tool. Um, oh, we have to buy it, right? So let's go to bonds. That's not bonds. Where's bonds? Here's bonds. Uh, under tools megaphone and we have to procure it with one bond all right now we can put our megaphone in here in our little tool station and then our employee is going to come down here and get it yeah it's a little overcrowded down here little these people oh we got to click on the thing that's why oh drat i forgot about that yeah the train doesn't run on its own you have to manually click on the track and then it comes and picks people up I, my guess is we're going to be able to auto, automate that down the line at some point. But you do have to keep an eye on that. You have just earned a bond. Remember, City Hall grants you bonds for shifting commuters. You can use bonds to hire staff or procure new technology. Click on procurement to see what is available. All right, very good. Um, so we have to build a bin. That would be a trash bin. And that is a litter picker that would be under facilities. Yeah, we're going to put some trash bins around. Look at the garbage. Is that garbage? No, it's nothing. Shadow. But we're going to put some garbage bins around. Yeah, there's trash right there. Look at that thing. What is that? Somebody. Hmm. All right. Well, now we have bins. Unfortunately, the people that ride the rail don't use the bins. We need an employee to pick the garbage up. So it looks like our one steward is going to have to get um, a new tool. Let's put the, the, the picker, trash picker upper. There we go. And where is our steward? Because I think we have to tell him to do this stuff. I don't even see this guy. Hold on. Let's pause it. Where is he? Oh, he's not even on shift. Uh-oh. Where is he? He was... Uh... Oh, here he is. He wasn't even here. <laughs> Dude, where are you going? Get to work. Go grab that megaphone and tell people where to go. Yeah, apparently you have to put him on shift. He was off shift. All right. Yeah, in the first tutorial, you actually just hired an applicant and uh, went right to work. But apparently they can go off and on shift. And they have their schedules here too, which is kind of cool. And you can right click on him. 
uh, Josh Stewart in this case, and you can prioritize their tasks and also um, check their stats and stuff in here. Pretty neat. All right, so he's gonna grab the megaphone. Dude, oh, he's got the megaphone, and then we gotta tell him where to go and do the mega-ing. Oh, call the train. Yeah, this is, this the train's ready. Here we go. All right, so everybody, everybody listen to, uh, to Josh. He's a professional. He's making everybody relaxed and feel good. Yep, so you can see him using his skill right here. And he's gaining experience telling people what to do. And they're all calm and collected and cool. Or not. And let's go have a look at our reputation. It's actually dropping. I think it started at 40%. Prices are too high, really. No bin. I got the bins. Overcrowded. Yeah, overcrowding is an issue. Can we procure another train? Oh, yeah, we can. Let's get another carriage. There we go. So that's going to double up our train, I think. Yeah, so the goal right now is basically just to shift 25 commuters. That's just to, I guess, load them and move them on, move them out. Here we go. Here comes our train. Oh, there's only one. What happened to the other one? Uh, we should have two trains. I don't know where the other piece is. Um, maybe I did something wrong. Oh my gosh, look at this trash. It's still here. How do I... Maybe we can't hire another person in... Oh, what happened? Oh, station's completed. Yeah, I was going to say, it's, it, since it's a tutorial, it's kind of limited. There's a lot of things that we cannot do, um, like hire another employee and put them on trash and do any other kind of expansion. But I figured we'd do the tutorial just to show you guys the basics of the game. Uh, so there we go. Congratulations, you have finished the tutorial. Wasn't That wasn't that bad. That nah, wasn't. wasn't too bad at all. Um, and now we can go to like the campaign. I'll do this real quick. You can generate one. Let's just call it PSJR. And this is the campaign. So you start with one zone. And as far as I know, this is going to be all procedurally generated. Looks like we have a difficulty level here. And you will unlock these zones when you complete uh, whatever missions you have. Um, which I don't know what those missions are, but here we go. So this is your blank slate, Wrangler's Corner, and you got to get people in um, and riding your rail. So yeah, that's um, that's the game. But let me show you these bonds because you can't see what's available in the tutorial. But you can see this is kind of like the tech tree, right? There's all kinds of cool stuff you can build down the road when you expand and uh, make your way through the game. So that's facilities, we've got utilities here, and then tools, commerce, and amenities. So yeah, there's quite a bit, a bit to do here. Um, so I barely just scratched the surface with you guys here, obviously, but uh, I did want to show you the game because I think, it's, I think it's pretty interesting. And I thought maybe some of you guys would enjoy this. So, so there you go. That is Overcrowd, a commute em up Once again, on Steam Early Access, I'll put a link down below. Check it out if you like what you saw here, and uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.